Hi there, it's Jordan Bucket here from Traveland RV, and I wanted to go over a few different style of fridges you may see in your RV. This particular one here is a Norcold 8 cubic foot fridge and freezer here. So nice separation between the two, good size and a, even a deep freezer up top. Uh, functionality of this trailer you'll see. I'm just going to open this up so you can see everything and I'm not in the way. Um, on button right there, mode right here, you'll see is automatic, A being for automatic, and that symbol for gas. If we cycle through, you have electric for being plugged into electric, swap it just to gas, or automatic source is the best source of power that's able to run right now. Uh, you'll see, since we are lit up green now, we are good to go, the fridge is on. Uh, if you do see a red light, you are, that does mean you are having a fault. Say your propane might not be on if you're trying to run it off of propane. Uh, you may get that red light pop up, like you can see there. So all I have to do is swatch it back to automatic. If I don't get electric, it will automatically try and source off propane. But we have the automatic uh, or the electric on right now. Uh, we are actually using the generator to run this since we are in a Class C motorhome. The other button you'll see on here is this little temperature gauge. If you see there's two lights on it right now, you can keep hitting that and go all the way up to five. Five being the coldest settings, of course, and you hit it again, it takes back to one for the warmest setting of the fridge. So, I mean, for this type of fridge, Three is a good setting, maybe even try four. You might have to figure uh, and test it out for yourself how you like it. But again, all you do, temperature, mode, and on and off button right there. So now we're gonna take a look at this smaller Dometic fridge. So I'm just gonna open it here by lifting that little lip. You'll see you have the fridge and the built-in freezer right there. Now, to control temperatures on something like this is a little bit different. Down below, you're going to see this white uh, clip on the metal pieces there. This is actually how you control the temperature. The higher you move it up, the uh, colder it gets, and the lower you put it down, the warmer. So you just have to adjust that the way you want the temperature, find the, your happy point, and it's nice and easy to go from there. To work the fridge itself, there's two buttons up here. One is on and off, which you just click, nice and easy. The other one you'll see is uh, auto check and gas is what it says there. Uh, this one here, if you have the button, button pushed down, it's automatically going to source off electricity being plugged in or propane, whichever one uh, can actually pick up. It's going to source for electricity first. If it can't find that, it'll go to propane. If you strictly want it off pro propane, you can put, unpush that button and it will run off gas like you can see in the photo. If you do see a orange light pop up in the check, that means you are not able to light. For, you know, you could have your propane closed or simple things like that. Uh, again, this is a look at a smaller Dometic fridge that we have in a small J flight trailer. So now we're going to look at the Dometic 8 cubic foot fridge. So nice and easy to open here. You'll see uh, just like the Norcold, same kind of size. However, there's a different way to operate this one where you actually have to open the freezer. There's an on and off button right there. Of course, pushed in is on, pushed out is off. And then you'll get your auto and gas button, just like that little Norco or little Dometic fridge we were looking at. In is for auto, out is for gas. You can swap it back and forth. You'll have that orange check light if you do have a problem lighting it. And then you'll have your temperature gauge from one to five where you just keep hitting that button. Five, of course, being the coldest. That's how you work this style of Dometic fridge, which is both electric and propane as well. Now we're taking a look at one of our largest propane electric fridges we have. This here is in a Grand Design Solitude. Let's see here so I can open up. You do have lots of room in there. Uh, now to work this, it's all going to be off this right here. 
you'll see there's a nice on button to turn it on. You'll see a few, couple different symbols up here. This again is how you change it to automatic, electric, or propane. You just sort through here, you'll see there's a little electric and propane button there, which will source automatically. Of course, electric first. Um, now you can source through just electric by selecting electric as you see, or just propane by doing that same. And again, there is another temperature gauge right here to check or to set the temperature through one through seven, or sorry, nine. Um, then you can set your temperature from there to where you think is your halfway point, and that's how you work this fridge. We're going to be taking a quick peek at the outside of your fridge. So there's two little latches that you just have to turn to unlock to get this piece open and lift it up just out of the way. Uh, you'll see that there's all electrical in here. The one thing that you do want to look at is this right here. This is actually your drain for your fridge, and you want that to be sitting right in the drain tray, of course. So every little drip goes into that tray, and then it'll evaporate because the fridge will heat up. Um, nice and simple little thing in there to do. If nothing else, you really have to worry about in there. Uh, the other thing to look at is actually on here. You'll see that there is little breathing holes here. Now... Uh, I always like to mention if you do want to get a mesh strip to put along here, that does work for keeping bees and wasps out because it does get nice and warm in there and it's a nice place for them to go. Close that off right there. You all put away. That has been a fridge on a Greyhawk particularly. Some of the other fridges may have a different style of draining. Just have to look out for that and make sure it's in its holder.